In today's tutorial, let's learn how to do a scrubby posy together where you have a scrubby and then the crochet is attached right directly to the scrubby. Let's cover that next. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the scrubby posy where we have a scrubby and the yarn is added to the scrubby afterward in order to make it a one piece unit. I've seen things like this in yard sales as well as I've seen it in flea markets where crocheters sell this as a one piece unit and actually they get pretty good money for it. So um, without further ado, let me go through some of the materials that you're gonna need today. So this pattern before we begin has a diagram if you wish to follow it. So the the middle here is the scrubby and you can see all the stitch work that's added afterward. You're only gonna need a couple colors. You can always see that they complement. So I would choose the color based on what color the scrubby is. So I went to the dollar store for $1.25 Canadian. I was able to get a six pack of scrubbies and then here in Canada we have Bernat Handicrafter but if you're in the United States you will know it as Lily Sugar and Cream. So this is what you're gonna need in order to complete today's project. The first thing we're gonna need to think about is that we need two sizes of the crochet hooks and I have three sizes in my hand. So we have the scrubby that I had purchased from the dollar store. So what we have here is that we need to make sure that the crochet hook can get into the mesh and back out. So if you are not being able to get that three and a half millimeter size E through then just go a little bit smaller. So I went a little bit smaller to a three millimeter um, size instead. So you have to be able to get your hook through that. So if the hook is way too big you're gonna probably be able to jam it in but you probably will not be able to get it out. So you just gotta be conscientious of that and so you will need the smaller hook in order to do the first round and then we jump up to the larger hook then to complete the rest of the project. So let's begin. We're gonna create a slip knot first and insert it onto the hook. So our goal is to get 31 single crochets around this sponge or this scrubby. So what you're going to see within yourself and I know within myself I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do it the very first time I ever try but what I want to do is that I just wanna come along the side edge. Okay, so just along the side and just insert in to a little section and then just yarn over and go through and just pull it through and do this as a single crochet. Okay and my goal is is to get 36 of these all the way around. So just moving over a little bit just go into another section right there and get the straggler down on top just like it would be if it was regular crochet item and then do it in another one. And I want you to do this all the way around so that you get the 36 of these single crochets all the way around. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna be able to do it the first time so I may have to try a couple times in order to equally space these around. So there's really just a trial and error when it comes to doing this all the way around. So please do 36 of these going all the way around so that you come all the way to the back and I'll see you here in just a moment and I'll give you an update on how many times it took me to do it too. <laughs> so I'm halfway around and I've got 18 in so far. I gotta do 36 and I'm halfway around so I know that I'm on the right track. So just keeping kind of the spacing that I can see here I'm gonna continue to fit in. So I haven't had to pull anything out yet. So I'm, I'm just watching the halfway mark that I got 18 and now the other 18 are gonna go on the other side which gives you a total of 36. So I've come all the way back around. I just had to kind of get a little bit careful in the end and just add extra and uh, like I just had to kind of squeeze a couple in and it will balance out in the end. I know it will. I've been crocheting enough years to know that. I'm gonna slip stitch then to the beginning and I wanna change my hook back to what it should be for the remainder of the project which is a four millimeter a size G crochet hook. So we're gonna insert this in and now for the remainder we're gonna use this hook and let's begin to do the next step. So using the same color we're gonna continue with round number two. We're gonna chain one in one single crochet into the same stitch that you did the join in and now you have to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and I will need you to skip two. So one and two go to the third for a single crochet and I need you to do that all the way around. So let's do five again. So one, two, three, four and five. Skip two, one and two go to the third over. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, skip two, one and two and go to the third over. Please do that all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way around. I've done my chain five and I'm just going to join it to the beginning single crochet to finish. You should be able to count that there should be 12 loops going all the way around. Now do you see how I squeezed a few extra in, in here? See how it's gonna balance out afterward? It's gonna be quite nice. So keeping the same color let's move along to round number three. 
So now we're gonna grow the petal posy out. Okay, the posy and let's begin and we're gonna slip stitch into the chain five space first and we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet. So one, two and three. So each one of these are gonna have three double crochets. This is one of them. Then we're gonna have three trebles and then three double crochets and then single crochet into the next here and then start it again here. So let's follow along. So we've already done one here and let's double crochet two more times into this one and then we're gonna do three trebles. So we're gonna wrap the hook twice for a treble Oops, I dropped my stitch there. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's two trebles so far and one more time and then three more double crochets into the same one. Okay, so if you just remember it's three, three and three. So three double crochet, three trebles and three double crochet. Once you get that done, you're just gonna simply just come to the next chain five space, single crochet that and then start again. So let's begin again. So we're gonna double crochet three times. So one, two and three. Now we're gonna treble three times. So wrap the hook twice. Okay, and this is the third one. And then double crochet three times. You'll notice that I can never really count the trebles as I go because I gotta wrap the hook twice. So that was two and three and then single crochet in the next chain five space and then begin this once again. So three uh, doubles, three trebles, three doubles and then single into the next. Do that all the way around and you should have a total of six of these sides when you're done. Six of these big ones. So I'm coming up all the way back around. The last one is gonna be a single crochet here and then all we're just going to do then is just join to the top of the beginning chain three gonna show you how to fasten off and you're gonna fasten off this way even for the next round. I'm only gonna show it one time just to save time in this tutorial. Cut it about 12 inches long and then pull the yarn through the loop. Okay, so just pull it right through the loop. That kind of locks it and then I want you to grab your darning needle and you're going to hide in this. It, if you actually really are gonna use it for scrubbing dishes, you do not want to skip this step because it'll hide the work in and it won't allow the tail to fall out. So just coming up underneath the stitches, just try to get the needle through some fibers, not just gap spaces because that's what really holds it and go in about an inch. Turn around going in a different spot and go in, in the other direction. This is the second time you're going through and then turn around one more time and go in a different area. Make sure you separate some of those fibers out Okay, and then pull through. And you will never have the loose ends falling out of this thing. Okay, you can cut it right down to the project. Let's move on and we're gonna do the final step and you can see that you got, it's like a hexagon and now you're gonna finish it off to make this really quite cute. So let's grab our final color and do round number four. So we're still using a five, four millimeter size G crochet hook today. So I just have to go for any one of these big ones that are going all the way around. Just go into any one, it doesn't matter. So I wanna look at it and remember we had three double crochets to start. We had three trebles and then we finished off with three doubles. So what I want you to do is look for the trebles and go for the middle one right in the middle and insert your hook in and yarn over and leave the straggler just dangling in front and just attach it with a slip stitch. I want you to chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch. But we're gonna do a picot next. So to do a picot, you have to chain three. One, two, three and slip stitch. Watch exactly where I'm going. Do you see that there's two strands? So just slip stitch to the beginning and pull through. Okay, so you pull through that, the first one and the next one. Okay, and now we're going to work our way down and I'm gonna show the pico again. So we're gonna work our way down for the next four single crochets. Leave this straggler down on top of the line and you, it'll get stuck underneath. So this is two, three and four. So now what I want you to do is look back down to the circumference of the scrubby and I want you to look for the second one that's over. Okay, so second one that's there and I want to double crochet but when I go to double crochet I not only, I don't wanna come in the front and go like this. 
what I want to do is that I want to wrap my hook going into the front of the second one and let this string kind of come over the other side to the back and just grab it from the back side. Okay? I'll show this again too. So then you're gonna pull through two and two. Okay? So not only did it go through the front here but it also went through the back the way that we did it. If I would have just went through the front side it would be missing from the back and therefore it would not be as stable when it goes together. So what I want you to do is continue up the next side of the pedal. So just gonna go up four. So one, so these are single crochets, two, three, and four and the fifth one should be the middle one of the treble which it is. So we're gonna single crochet into the middle one, chain three, one, two, and three, and come into the first one that you did to for the picot. So just slide it in to the two, two strands right in the front and pull through that one and that one. And then we'll move yourself down again. So that's the next four. So one, so these single crochets down, two, three, and four. And now we're going to come down to the center where the circumference is. So yarning over, go to the one right next to it. Okay, so you got one and two. Okay, you're going into the first one. Let the string come from the other side and pull it through. Pull through two and two. So you can see it came through both sides. So then we work ourselves up again on the other side. So there's gonna be four. So one, two, three, and four. This will take you back to the middle one of that one which it is. So single crochet that plus chain three, one, two, three, pico. Okay, into the first one and then down the other side for four. So one, two, three, oops, three and four and then come back down here again right where I'm just grabbing. So yarn over going in, let the string fall to the back side and pull through through two and two so that it's in the front and the back and then work yourself up the other side. So continue to do that all the way around. So I've come up all the way back around. I'm just gonna slip stitch it to the first single crochet and I'm gonna use the technique that I've already shown you to weave in the ends and therefore this posy is done and uh, you can see it's a really kind of a cool project. It's uh, stable on the front side and the back side. Completely attached in every way to the, sp uh, to the scrubby and you cannot go wrong. So this is how you do this kind of tutorial uh, for this kind of project. I've always wondered how it was done. I didn't realize there was a free pattern available on this until actually a couple weeks ago and uh, because that I'm able to play with it now on camera. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day. Don't forget to show us your photos if you get these done on either on Yarnspirations or the Crochet Crowd Facebook. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.